getting a, a feel for it there. I think I was getting it. Bloody impressive work, that. I knew there was something about you, but the truth told, I didn't expect you to make such clean work of that chimera. I reckon I might even be hard pressed to match that display. You know talent when you see it, boss, and that's... And with that, the cerulean will flow once more. He's like, I don't know what that means. Among his many roles, Arnegus is a merchant of sorts. He sells ceruleum at a price that makes those guild pinchers at Ama uh, Amagina and Sun's bulk, but still turns a profit. We can barely keep up with the demand despite occasional beast or two button in our affairs. This guy looking like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Oh, thanks to you, boss, and our countrymen up north, of course. Here's to getting back to business as usual. Cerulean ain't easy to come by, and as, as you well know, Amagina and Sons protects their monopoly with the Gilded Fist, but they've yet to force the Imperial Straggles up north out of the market. Uh. Now before you go running off to the flames, let me assure you that the arrangement is entirely above board. Selling goods to Imperials is, is forbidden by law, but there's nary a word about buying from them. I know you Aorzeans like to call Garleans by all sorts of colorful names. Bastards, tyrants, invaders. And I, we do have those and worse. Oops. No, ma no small number of Empire shows would return home in a heartbeat if they could, but world being what it is, most settle for sending their family what few coins they can afford to part with. Most Aorizians wouldn't suffer a wit of color to complicate their back and black and white view, but if you're going to fight with us, you should learn the truth of our past. We're finna get some truth. Long, long ago, before the Empire, our forebearers lived in a locus amoenus. With the temperate climates and fertile earth the land provided, many of us were simple farmers harvesting abundant crops with self-same sites and the reapers would eventually would be wielding. Oh, the self-same sites that the reapers eventually would wield. So these sites were originally for harvesting crops, but gifts are ever the object of envy. When not tilling the fields, our ancestors were forced to defend them. Every year they wielded, they yielded few more elms, and some 800 years ago, now they were driven from the Locust and Moenus completely. They fled north to the frozen region that would become Garlemeld. Even there, they fought tooth and nail for the scant resources of the frigid land. From the fires of hardship were the first Magitech devices forged, and with innovation upon innovation, the humble groups of farmers grew into an insatiable empire. But before that miraculous twist of fate, we were a dying breed, bereft not only of magic, but our hope itself. With no natural advantages, so to speak, of our mere survival was in question. Oh, I thought shit was gonna pop off. From harsh necessity were the reapers born. We turned our tools to weapons and struck a bargain with the whispers in the dark. With the void's power, we could strike an army's beating heart, slay their generals and throw the rank and, throw the rank and file into disarray.
Our way is to end battles before the spark catches. To sacrifice the one for the many. To keep avaricious hands away from family, friends, and lovers. And now, this power belongs to you. It's like, this is too much power. Remember our story. Remember what drives a man to turn to the void, and you'll not be led into deeper temptations. Temptations. He's like, hmm, I'm remembering and stuff. Our work here is done. I'll see you back at the headquarters. Sounds good. Da -da -da -da. Alright. Looks like we're back to the Lemur's headquarters. Tanks needed. Surprise, surprise. All right, so Sapphire Avenue Exchange. For your first out and you did good, I think you've earned the right to know just whose lot you've thrown yourself in with us. You might have gathered this yourself, but the Lemurs were formed to support the Garleans who are living in, living in exile. It ain't easy to be far from home, let alone in a place that would sooner gut you than offer a help in hand. Often the place to, to make a living is the shadowy corners that lie outside a watchful gaze of the law. Now, I don't expect you to embrace us like brothers and sisters straight away, but know this, I do expect you to apply yourself to this job. In the meantime, I'll be working with the family to ascertain the whereabouts of our prey. I expect that the scythe will be like an extension of your body when we next speak. That should be true. Alright, we've done the first bit of that. So we're free to level how we want now. Let's see, how could we... I think I could go into trusts at 70. No, that's 80. That's 75. That's 71. We need an average item level of 370. So what's before this?
I don't really know. For level 70, how would I? I think I need to get higher level gear. 